It's lights, camera, and a chance of a lifetime for 16 hopefuls from all walks of life competing for a million dollar grand prize as they chase their boxing dream of being the contender. I've measured myself on getting this great opposition. I have the discipline and I want the country to look at me. Yeah, I am the next contender. Mark Burnett, the man who brought Survivor and The Apprentice to television, is now moving into the world of sports. It's good, it's good. Let's rock and roll. Whether the setting is a tropical island, corporate boardroom, or the boxing ring, Burnett always tells the human side of the story. Okay. This time, he's teamed up with another great storyteller, Sylvester Stallone, and the legendary Sugar Ray Leonard. I went to about a half a dozen of the casting calls, and I was blown away by the way it was received. I mean, there were wives and girlfriends and kids, and I think that really sticks out in my mind. Each week, these 16 men will be put to the test. Go! But the real story starts when we get a chance to hear from their friends and family. Come on, Jonathan, you can do it, baby! My wife is my help meet, so she's there to help me meet my goals. When I accomplish something, we all accomplish something because it's, I'm, I'm doing it for everybody. You know, everybody's benefiting from, from what dad or what husband's doing. If she wasn't there, then it would probably be hard. Baby, it's gonna be all right. I think about my son the most because I'm a big part of his life and I'm with him every day and he's like my best buddy, so it's, it's real tough to leave him behind. How do we say it? I'll, I'll be back. back. <laughs> I've been in this uh, game for about 11 years and it's time for me to shine. For NBC, I'm Bill Ratner. The Rumble in the Jungle, Thriller in Manila, now, Sugar Ray Leonard, Hagler Hearns. I mean, I never, ever, I would have paid. It isn't exactly the most pleasant in the world, but that perhaps would be their only opportunity. But you know, it's not the same way in boxing. It's thousands and thousands of young men. The mark and Jeffrey have worked out is uh, revolutionary, it's fair, and these fighters, I believe, and we welcome you all to step forward, who believe that have not been given a fair shake, and believe that they do have the talent. This, the door is now wide open again for you to have the opportunity to walk. In this show, the number one priority, can you step in there and deliver? In, in the next couple of years, if I know. In Rocky, I've always said, it's not about, it's always about Adrian. That was it. She was the hardest. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. I, I just can't say how excited I am to be a part of such an incredible team um, with Jeffrey and Mark, Sly, and Jeff Wall. This is truly a dream come true because it's all about boxing. I mean, really showing boxing in a very positive light. Network television, I think all these those things combined will take us back to the glory days when I had the pleasure of fighting on network television, um, having the opportunity to fight the likes of Tommy Hearns, Roberto Duran, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Uh, being a part of this team is really something that um, I look forward to, and um, I need to get back in shape now. <laughs> hey, everybody. Kind of like grab him, rough him a little there. Come on, rough him, rough him. Great. And all, I mean, it's it's very standard, just like the dates. Year 126, um, 126. All the info for where we were. Okay. And uh, we're sure you're going to do well. 
Right. You know, how you feeling about this? I feel good. Yeah, okay. All right, where you from? North of Virginia. North of Virginia. You come all the way here to do this? That's right. Man, oh man. I hope you do well. They can't stop me. How's that? That's better? That's good. That's all right, good. let's rock and roll. This is once in a lifetime, gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. Box. Shorten those punches up a little bit. Five and five amateur, two and zero as professional. Time. All right, good work. Dale, water. Give him some water. Let me know how to do. Stand loose, stand loose. Let's document this. You better document this. Just, no, this is a man who unfortunately is delusional. <laughs> One punch too many. <laughs> She's gonna crash I'm and burn. I'm gonna crush I'm gonna annihilate some. That's right. This could be painful. That's right. Is that all you got? <laughs> See you on the contender. And hopefully you'll be, be in better shape than us. Ciao.
chins down just a little and kind of look up with your eyes. Just look down first and then bring your eyes up. So your chins are low. That's good. All boxes do that. Yeah. <laughs> Hide that chin, right? Hide that chin. <laughs> That's a good thing in boxing. You're going to you in the very back because I'm losing your chin. <laughs> nice smile. Nice big smile. Very nice. Come on, come on. We're here. <laughs> There's nothing else smiling at me, all right? There you go. I think you're spent on that one, Chris. <laughs> Not <laughs> <laughs> right, he can laugh. <laughs> right to the camera. Big happy smiles, everybody, one big happy family. <laughs> That's Tommy. <laughs> I mean, I recognize you. That's Tommy's pocket chest. You're right. Right up here, Tommy. He goes, which lens? That one. <laughs> that one on the ladder. <laughs> There's only 14 lenses. Okay, coming down. Okay, dudes, here we go. Nice. Good. Everyone give me a fist. Nice. Just raise it, not really give me a fist. Here we go. Very nice, you guys. Yeah, no, 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 I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> 